it's easy to see this as like a trip, but it's really like a long-term like moment for me. <laughs> I get a hundred thousand views. This, this got pretty deep for like, it's like eight in the morning. <laughs> so there's probably like someone sitting in bed like listening to me like talk to myself for like 40 minutes now. Life is good. So he wrote out a hundred um, fortune cookies. So now I have fortunes in my raincoat pocket from my father for daily use, I guess. Saying goodbye as an adult is really awkward because you're sort of at this point in life where like, it's not camp. You can't write each other letters and cry. You know, you have to compose yourself a little more when you grow up, which one could argue is maybe not the best thing, but it's just, that's what growing up is. That everybody you meet, you know, you can't really break down and cry and tell them how much they mean to you because that would just be a little, a little off-putting. There, there's only two times I've cried on camera and one of them I was like deeply unhinged in the middle of the pandemic and the second one was this night in April and I pulled out my camera and um, I don't really like to talk very much in the dorm so it was like a silent little moment but I knew that I really wanted to capture it because it was just... <laughs> I'm gonna cry again. It was... In like 2019, I started originally planning this trip and my dad was like cleaning out his office one day or something. I don't even know how, but he, he gave me this journal, this one right here. He gave it to me and he was like, hey, you know, you should um, use this for your study abroad. Like just, he was trying to get rid of it. <laughs> you know, like it wasn't like a very sentimental moment, but um, the, the pandemic hit and I had gotten this before then and I was like sort of, sa I had saved this, I had put this, I'd shelved it literally like this trip and I put it on a shelf and I was like, okay, I'm, go I'm gonna save this for when I go abroad. And I just remember like looking at it for months on my, uh, the shelf in my room. And it started off as like a positive little affirmation for myself. Like, oh, you know, one day it's gonna be full of memories and of your study abroad. Like everything's gonna work out and then the months went on and then it became a year and I still didn't know if I was maybe going to come here and then it was like practically over a year that I didn't know that this trip was going to happen but I had been planning it for so long. <laughs> I gave up. I gave up one day in the middle of the pandemic and I wrote a journal entry because I was like it's so stupid that I'm hanging on to this journal because it's it's just, it's gonna waste away on the shelf. I'm never gonna go. Oh, this is, the, this is literally what the first sentence of this journal says. I thought I was going to save this journal for Scotland, but I can't take it anymore. <laughs> yeah, so in February of 2021, I gave up. But yeah, then I, then everything started to work out and I got here and um, I started writing everything down that happened to me. Things that are not for public consumption. <laughs> they are just for me. Um, and this March, I finished the journal. Yeah, I pulled out my camera and I just, I started crying because, um, cause like when I started this, you could not have convinced me that day that I would have been there. And for me this year, like study abroad, it can be this very like, oh, you know, oh, studying abroad, like all you do is, you know, travel and like eat good food and, um, you know, go to museums and like wear cute outfits. Um, <laughs> and like, that's, for like two, like for like a couple weeks here and there, like yeah, that that is what it is. But that is not what this journal is full of. Um, this journal is full of people, people that maybe I met for a night. I mean, literally, some of the, some of the, sometimes the people that I met this year, I was so deeply broken <laughs> before I came here. 
like I can't I can't even exp I can't even explain it and I think a lot of us cannot explain it and we just didn't like I know that I've had conversations with people post this year and I think at the beginning of the year everybody was just sort of like you know what let's just not talk about it let's just keep plowing through and like keep our blinders on from what just happened in 2020 that bad stuff and keep moving forward but like every single time that a person was nice to me said something that like resonated i wrote it down i did i wrote down a lot of wisdom from pretty much strangers in this journal and that is that has been the best part of this year like i i just i would give up all of my travel experiences, all of those things to go back and talk to those people again, even if it was just, you know, for a night. Like some of the things that I talked about with practically strangers, like, like it's so weird. Like some of the things they said, like changed my life. Um, and how do you, you can't say that to somebody. So that's why I'm making a video about it. I wrote about what it is like to say goodbye on study abroad. This is, this is literally what I wrote about saying goodbye. We had that awkward moment where you're like, oh, you know, if you're ever in blank city, come, come visit me. And you both know it probably won't happen that way. Who knows? Maybe it will. That would be great. Fantastic. But that's just not how life is a lot of the time and that's okay i'm so grateful anyway really truly i'm grateful for all of it and i have to leave tonight and it's not like this big epic goodbye my goodbyes were all very simple and here i am where i started literally my journal is full i can't forget that i was here It's more than enough. But I get a glow each time I go open it up. If memory's a treasure, I'm trying to be a billionaire. I fear I'd fall apart to lose the things that form my heart that prove.